As the Russian invasion of Ukraine enters day 26, here are the top developments of the day. Several buildings in the capital of Kyiv have suffered damages from Russian bombardment. A shopping center in Kyiv was heavily damaged after a massive explosion struck, was struck by Russian shelling leading to six deaths. In spite of the fact that the port city of Mariupol in Ukraine is under siege, Ukraine has rejected Russia's demand to surrender the city. Ukraine's deputy prime minister has said the city will not be handed over to Russia. Ukrainian authorities have said Russia's military bombed an art school sheltering some 400 people in the embattled city of Mariupol. President Zelensky said an unrelenting Russian siege would be remembered for centuries to come. It was the second time in less than a week that city officials reported a public building where residents had taken shelter coming under attack. 64 people trapped at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant occupied by Russia were released. 46 employees volunteered to take their place and travel to the occupied facility. Several workers are fear trapped. U.S. President Biden is going to visit Poland as part of his European trip this week for talks with allies about Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky has expressed his thanks to actor Mila Kunis and her husband Ashton Kutcher for their efforts to help the people there amid its war with Russia. The couple started a campaign towards refugee and humanitarian aid efforts and have raised about $35 million. Kunis, a native of Ukraine, moved to the United States when she was a child.